Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Sisterhood Book Club, where there's reviews, 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 reviews. All right, now, today I will be reviewing Hiding in Plain Sight. And this book, I don't have the physical book. I have read, I have read this off my Kindle app. Um, so it's really like on my phone. I read on my phone. Okay, so uh, let's get to the review. Now, we have the three sisters in, and the characters are Andrea, Cal, Grams, which is Catherine, then you have uh, Rochelle. Now, all these characters are very important in this story, and they um, played out their parts really good. The author did a great job. And did I say who was the author? Okay, the author is Marta Perry. Sorry about that. Okay, so you have uh, Rochelle. Rochelle is in a bad car accident. Um, someone tried to run her over when she was when she was walking her dog. That's how it starts off. And uh, Catherine calls Andrea to tell Andrea about the accident, and Andrea run. Um, rushes to her sister's side to make sure everything was okay. And while she's rushing to her sister's side, she winds up being in an accident. And But she wasn't in a fatal accident. She, um, she survived. Only thing was her car was uh, really messed up. So she uh, makes it to the hospital. And once she makes it to the hospital, thanks to Cal, because Cal was coming from the hospital on his way back to um, his place. And that's where he's seen um, the car in the ditch. So uh, thanks to Cal that um, Andrea uh, made it out safely. And so once um, Andrea makes it to the hospital, she comes um, she she uh, reminisces with her sister, and then her sister tells her about the three sisters' inn. She didn't have the slightest idea about the inn because uh, she don't live in the little town they live in. She's um, She lives by herself. She has her own office. She's a businesswoman. So now she's upset about... Uh, Catherine and her sister not telling her about this um, special project because it is called the Three Sisters Inn. So it's going to be a bed and breakfast inn. So um, now she's trying to figure out because uh, Rochelle tells her, "I need." I need your help. Gramps needs your help now because we're going to open in like a week. So can you put your life on hold and come help us? So now um, a uh, Andrea is like, you know, battling, saying, okay, I can take a long leave from my job, but, but I might lose my job because my boss don't go for that. So now she's... Um, like in the uproar because she has to take on this project she don't want to take on. But she knows her family needs her. Now she um makes it back to um uh to the um to the end to find, you know, her um her ground is um sleep and so she sees her the next day and they discuss what is going on and her um Catherine is happy that she's going to take a leave from her job, but Catherine is not coming straight forward with her about the financial wise and just a whole lot of stuff. She's not coming clean with her, but she wants her to help her. So you know, instead of you know, um, a, you know, Andrea asking, you know, asking like a lot, a lot of questions, and but she knows that her, you know, her grams is not going to come clean. So she goes to her uh, grandfather, best friend, which is Nick, and asks him a whole lot of questions. And Nick comes clean because um, with with her because 
he's very worried about Catherine financially and all that. So he comes clean with her and tells her that um, what um, Catherine told Andrea financially wise, she's not capable of opening the end right and keeping the end and things like that. So now Andrea is like, okay, now I have to um, some kind of way, you know, either end this or take over. So when she approached Catherine about ending the situation, Catherine tells her, no, that's not happening. So that, don't leave, that leaves, um, you know, Andrea to the point where saying, okay, now I have to step in and I have to take over the situation because Rochelle, Rochelle is not able to do anything. So by her being a business person, businesswoman that she is, she knows the ins and outs of opening and financially and all that stuff, keeping the books and all that. She know how to do all that. So they're good to go with that part. Now then you have um, the distractions, which um, already have happened. You know, Rochelle has been almost killed. So someone is actually don't want the end to open. Then you have this fire um, with their neighbor, em, um, Emma, tries to cook something and the fi the pilot is blew out and the um when she opens the door the fire hits her in the face. Then you have uh someone trying to um cripple Andrea. She was um looking for the legends of the books um of her grandfather to find out financially wise what was going on. Um someone tried to close her in a closet and uh, then you have, oh my goodness, then you have, it's a whole lot of stuff that was going on. They were trying to destroy. Then they had uh, tried to run, oh, and then it was, they had a, a, a prior. He, um, it was a burglar. He, um, he went into the farmhouse and um, they had to put lights up and um, some stuff was, you know, stolen out the, out the, out the barn. And, oh my goodness. And then they, um, someone tried to run down Andrea. They tried to take out a uh, uh, cow, and it was—it's just a whole lot of stuff going on. And it's a, like it's a mystery because you're trying to figure out who is trying to destroy this. Someone, um, Andrea, brought everything up to date, put everything on the computer, how it should, you know, financial, the booking. Um, she was even um, building a website. Someone snuck in and. Uh, canceled their appointments because it was going to open like in a week, and they they canceled the appointments, and it just was a whole lot of stuff going on. I enjoyed the book. Um, Andrea finds uh, Cal very, very attractive, and he's a very handsome man according to the description in the book, and Cal um, finds Andrea attractive. So that's a distraction, and Andrea can't. Um, she she's always been by herself. So um, this is something new to her as far as because she never like liked, you know, um, never with the business she's in. She really don't have time to to date and things like this. So this is something new for her with that situation, and so. I mean, everything was good except the part, the Arthur, she didn't um, give the bond of the sister um, that supposed to have been there. I didn't, I didn't feel the bond, and I didn't feel the um, that uh, uh, Rochelle didn't have enough voice. She wasn't, she was in the book, but what she wasn't in there enough, and she didn't have enough voice. So it was really, it was a really good book, everyone. So... Uh, I give this book five out of five stars, and um, like I said, the book is Hiding in Plain Sight by Marta Perry, and I will show you at the end of the video exactly um, how the book itself looks. Okay, so bye-bye, God bless, and I will be coming back again real soon. Bye-bye.